Hey there, Hexlings. I am Vertihex, your hive mind, and today we are here with some Metroid Prime! This game originally released f for the GameCube in one moment. I gotta pull my notes out here. Maybe. Maybe if I can find them. I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. So I'll just Google it really fast. But, either way, this is a decently old game. It came out for the GameCube, and there was actually a trilogy released. And it was re-released on the Wii as that trilogy, and then again on the Wii U Shop, the Wii U eShop, for a Wii uh, emulator, pretty much, that comes on the fucking Wii U. So, that's where we are today, is we're playing that game. And you're probably about to see Samus freak out as soon as we zoom out, zoom back into first person here. But I am kind of curious. Uh, Metroid Prime uh, GameCube release. Um, it was in 2002, November 17th, 2002. So this game has a good, you know a good 14 years on it so uh pretty much i'm playing it to find out to see if its story it's to be honest i feel like the graphics may be blocky and you know uh definitely still polygoned but like i, I feel like this game was way better graphically than a lot of other nintendo games that came out in 2002 i guess i should say Except for Twilight Princess, but that came out in like 2010, I believe. So I can't really even say anything. I believe this was actually a launch title, uh, a launch title for the GameCube. Uh, we're playing on veteran mode here, and I do also have the easy lock on because this game is easy, and who doesn't want easy lock ons whenever you have a Wii Mote? And it does. This game did not use Wii Motion Plus at the beginning, uh, whenever it was made. Well. Pretty much the game engines for Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2, in the Metroid Prime trilogy, they are like carbon copies of the game engines from, uh, the game engine from Metroid Prime 3. And so, with the game being based off of that engine, uh, we get some glitches that go away from the GameCube version and the Wii versions of these games. And what's really cool is like whenever you just hold the camera and you're like gun in my face inspect it okay so uh what i plan on doing for this game is maybe trying to get all the lore find out as much of the story as i can because i remember as a kid i knew there was important stuff going on but i didn't really understand so hopefully i can open that up to you guys as viewers and myself as a game player to know what is actually going on in these games and how we do that is we get it through scans, by scanning creatures, enemies, uh, a bunch of things like that, data resources, and they give you entries into your log. Then you can then read and find out the lore of Talon 4, which is the planet beneath us. And we're actually on a space station floating above it right now that I believe was probably taken over by space pirates or was just a space pirate vessel to begin with. So let's read on here. Parasitic interstellar vermin travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4, a single parasitic, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they can tend to travel in large groups. Okay, well, let's get a scan on this guy. Space pirate. Status: death caused by severe severing of the spinal cord. Okay. Okay. And what the hell is this thing? Shows incredible large muscle muscle structure surrounding the jaw area. Uh, let's not fuck with the, one of those. Kind of reminds me of, like, Mama Metroid, if you ask me. No thanks. Just go ahead and kill that guy. Uh, that guy looked like he got, like, blown up with that. That's kind of interesting. Oh, no, more parasites. Where are they going? What are they... Should I follow them? There's a map in that room. I guess we should go in there. Uh, can I scan anything useful? I, I know there is actually a uh, space pirate lore block up here that it's 
pretty important to get because if we don't get it, we won't understand uh, where this game takes place in the Metroid storyline, even though I already know now. So, uh, Talon 4, Ground Zero, Area Secure, Catcher, Crater Radiation Readings Normal. Okay, I wonder what crashed into freaking Talon 4. Exterior hole stable and fully functional. That wasn't anything about Talon 4. Parasitic infection has been detected in the ventilation. Okay, well, apparently the parasites got out. I mean, that's kind of self... Two parasite queen specimens have become volatile on deck beta. That's probably what those two things in there was, was a parasite queen. So let's hope that we don't come in contact with those monsters. They seem kind of scary, and we're... We're just going to upload a data map right now into our system. boo doo boo doo boo doo boo doo boo It's music, too, makes this game just so... It's so memorable. Like, honestly, every boss that I fight in this game, I, I there's somewhere down deep in my skull that I know I remember just coming into these huge monsters in these games and just destroying them with a little arm cannon thing. Man, I remember playing this as a kid with Le Father and... Oh, no! No! And uh, we, we had arts and crafts at school one day. And you know, like, those little paper lanterns you make? Yeah, in, like, grade school. We made one of those, and I just put it on my arm and ran around and acted like it was, like, uh, a... Uh, uh, what are they? What? 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 Plasma beam? plasma beam from this game ow that is not how you play the game guys don't get trapped in electricity i think i picked veteran anyway i'm not taking a lot of damage so i'm kind of curious now get shot get shot bitch get up out my face wait a minute i think i actually might have passed the thing that i was talking about no but there's another one of these uh no okay so, a lot of this information is really cool, but I feel like it's quite redundant. So, we're going to go ahead and missile the fuck out of that camera, because it doesn't even know who it is. Is Do you know who it is? No, I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm insane, so who knows. Phase on infusion stage one, stage one parasitic larva diagnostic mass 1.2, length 0 0.5, cell structure stable. Okay. I know what I was talking about. Up oh, there it is. That red one right there is a key to the story. Uh, phase on infusion stage two, introducing mutagen into tank. Phase on batch zero seven three two point C status complete. Okay, so they're pumping these things full of phase on, which is never good. Phase on is like it's not good in this world. It's like it's like uranium in our world, but worse. All right, a new pirate data entry has been downloaded into your logbook. Space Pirate Encrypted Data Decoded. Log 09.992.3. Zebs has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Okay, so obviously Zebs was... Metroid raided planet Zebs in her first mission. So, this takes place after Metroid 1. Good to know. Either killed by, a hunter, by the hunter clad in metal or in... The hunter clad in metal... Or the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities are research. Frigates are research frigates. Orphan, Securius, and Volprogom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orphan is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orphan's cargo appears to have 100% survival rate. Metroids are in healthy but restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status we are ready to begin research on the metroids and other promising life forms security status remains at code blue no signs of pursuit from the hunter except for you didn't even know who came i'm here now bitches you're about to get wrecked you think you can save the baby metroids those things are evil the only person that i choose to say uh, the only person who chooses to save metroids around here is me samus the motherfucking bounty hunter in clad armor that's gonna fucking just blow your face up. Yeah. 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 You need to side roll into that, you bitch. And you can just fucking die at the hands of my awesome gladiator awesomeness. Okay. So, Samus is obviously uh, 
a, a pretty hardcore person, if you can't tell. She is also a female, if you did not know that. So that that's even more awesome for a game to really represent a strong female role where they are not sexualized, and you can't even tell the difference unless you were to play the older games, really. Especially in this first-person mode, it gets you really immersed, and it's very interesting. But you can also tell by, like, if... Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh! Get some! Okay. We're good, guys. We're gonna go ahead and open this door. Morph ball it up. Hop in here. Pop a bomb! We'll, we'll pop a bomb here. Why not? Woo! Couple bombs. Go on, Samus. Get you... Get... Ah! Ah! Ha, ha, I changed my mind! I don't want to be in here! Door open! It's a safe station. Guys, we're good. We're giddy good. We can go ahead and save and replenish our health. But yeah, Samus is a female. She was also born on a Earth colony planet that was attacked by space pirates led by... The attack was led by Ridley, which I think we see soon here, actually. Toward the end of the thing. That's why we go to Talon 4 we're hunting him down. Because he is one of the leaders of the space pirates. And if we can take Ridley down, then we can take down more space pirates. And that's always good. And Ridley's also the source of keeping the metroids alive which is horrible you know like we just destroyed them things on planet zebus we shouldn't have to worry about them they were intergalactic parasite going to suck everybody's brains out quite literally so samus goes down to zebus and she's like yo space pirates i'm gonna fuck you up and fucks him up so that's that that's where we are now is she's now on the hunt for the escapees who made it off world before samus destroyed the planet yeah she's kind of in kind kind of a big deal in this world we'll just missile the shit out of this uh missiles aren't really working well are they well oh oh Look at that timing. Oh, yeah. Get shot, bitch. Oh, it wants, it, it wants us to scan it, but it is a boss, so I should scan it anyway. Creature, new entry has been downloaded into your logbook. Morphology, parasite queen. Parasitic female, uh, a parasite female genetically enhanced by unknown means. Well, it's not really unknown, because we read those other scans, guys. They're pumped full of Phazon, so that's kind of a big deal. Weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Scan indicate that the presence of a potential mutagen origin unknown creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blast of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite genome. Ugh. I'm pretty sure not a normal animal can shoot a laser beam from its mouth. It appears to be... It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with a considerable results. Well, I mean, they've already had results with their space pirate engineering because, I mean, they're space pirates. I mean, you can't make money if you're not killing something, I guess. Or bio-enhancing it, making it better the world what we think we must do okay and that is the parasite queen defeated Woo! i don't know i, I kind of just want to take some time and kick back and relax and play a game that j just from my childhood you know so sometimes that's just so good for you like if if you feel like you're ticked off at video games if you're a playstation player go back to ratchet and clank or uh final fantasy or something like that you know something that you remember that got you into gaming and what made you think video games were so cool if you start playing games like that it uh, i don't know how to explain it but it's it's a good feeling so much nostalgia even if they are super easy and i'm saying that this game's super easy but i bet you we get killed 
quite a bit later on. Especially fighting Metroid Prime, because Metroid Prime is a fucking cunt. Pardon my language. Okay, that thing just blew up. Let me scan it. Oh, the creature is deceased. Uh, I couldn't have... Probably could have told you that, you know, seeming from the massive explosion that just happened in its face. Just let it go, I guess. Let him live. No way. Alright. Parasites! Take it down! Oh my god, guys. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. I will be giving you a full game. A full playthrough of that game. I don't care how long it takes. It will be done. I finished every... Well, not every Souls game. I have to play a Demon Souls still, but... Uh, I've played most of the Soul games on the channel, so... About half of them, I guess, because I didn't play... I mean, I played Bloodborne, but I didn't have this nice Roxio setup now because OBS actually uses Roxio as a... Uh, game capture device which means that the audio is no longer like two second delay there is probably a little bit of delay now that i'm thinking about it but it's not bad it's like i can still be talking about something on screen and uh on my screen and still have it in your view in the video so it's not that it's not that off whatsoever but uh using uh roxio's pre-programmed uh encoder and everything it was just so stupid it had, like, a programmed two or three second delay in audio, or in video, compared to what I was playing on. What I saw on my screen was two seconds faster than what you saw on your screen. And, and, their, 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 uh, their little audio settings doesn't have a place for mics, so that's really lame. I had to use an external source to try to record it. That's why I never really got too many console games off on the computer. So... Hopefully, we'll be getting more into that. Uh, I really want to play uh, Wild for the PlayStation 4. I feel like that would be a really good game to play on here. And we have three minutes. What the hell have I been doing with my life? Just lollygag. Oh, God, no. I don't want to die. Ooh! Ooh! I was so close. All right. But whenever we get to Talon 4, we'll probably save this. And uh, we'll call it a day for this episode. Oh, wait a minute. Here it comes. Ridley. He's such a good enemy design. I don't... Like, when you think of an evil monster space pirate, you don't think flying metal dragon... You, you, you just don't think that when you see when you hear Space Pirate. So whenever you see Ridley and you find out that he's like the leader of the Space Pirates, you're kind of like, wait, what the fuck? That thing's intelligent? It, it's just such a monstrous creature. It's hard to believe that it's it has that much command, you know? It's, it just looks like a brutal monster that just wants to eat everything. <laughs> And we lose the the, the Vera suit. I believe we are now stuck with a. Uh... Yep, our Vera suit malfunctioned, and now we are stuck with only uh, bare minimals, pretty much. So. Wait a wait a wait a wait a wait a wait a wait a. I'm really sorry. It's just always something with Metroid and their beginning places. They have to have a countdown before the fucking thing explodes, and you gotta run away. It's, it's just one of those Metroid tropes, I guess. Like, Super Metroid does it. I think Metroid 1 doesn't. Super Metroid. Super Metroid, pretty much. Yep. Yeah, Samus has a tendency of blowing everything up she steps foot on. So... Eh? 
I mean... Oh, there goes Ridley. Okay, so we're following him down onto this planet. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Beginning lance landing sequence. Here we go. Crash landing on Talon 4. And what I mean by the graphics, guys, is I mean, like, obviously we have a lot clearer graphics now, but just... What really upsets me about games nowadays is that the environments aren't vast. They aren't different. They're very much alike. In every game, if you think sand biome and you're like, okay, sand. But Metroid changes that up so well, really. Like, you think forest biome, which we're in right now. But just wait until you see, like, ev all of its inhabitants and stuff. And, like, when you're playing this game, you don't feel like you're just killing mindless monsters. You feel like you're there's alien life here and that if you don't have to kill it, you're not going to. But if it's hostile, obviously you have to protect yourself. But uh, we'll get on into that in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Vertihex, your hive mind, and welcome back.